I have a 2007 Chevy Silverado here. It's throwing up engine code or alarm PO523, which is a faulty oil pressure sensor. I'm, since I'm gonna have to fix it or swap it out and change it out myself, I figured I'd just video myself doing that and then put it on the internet so that way anybody who has, happens to have the same problem can fix that themselves. Um, as opposed to going to a dealership where they'll charge you 400 to 600 dollars in labor, it's a somewhat tricky uh, component to swap out. But it's not the hard; it's not as hard as some make it out to be. So I'll take you through it. All right, let's start this up here. Okay, as you can see, we have no oil pressure sensor. Oil pressure is reading zero. Alarm P5023. Okay, so I'll take you through what I'm using to do this, the tools and the part. Okay, so here's the uh, oil pressure sensor right here. It just threads in. It's kind of tricky. It goes in back behind the engine block and the firewall. Um, this is a Leslie 1 and 1 16th socket, half inch drive. It's specialty just for this job. You'll have to like order it. I'll put a link to everything I'm using in the uh, description below. Then there's also a filter basket right here. And uh, you can replace that if you want. Um, there's a bolt you use or like a tap that just fits in that diameter and you can use it to pop it in and out um, if you do decide to change that then i've got a half inch socket it's got a flex head on there and then also a half inch extension and a flex half inch flex socket or universal socket whatever you call them wobbly i've heard them called it either um, so that's basically all you'll need to do this. It's not that it's not that complicated as far as uh, tools go. Okay, so I'm situated in the engine bay right now. And uh, what you do, first thing is just pop this cover off right here. And then just put that to the side. And then back between here, the block and the firewall is the, uh, if you can see where my hand's going. It's kind of under the underhang. The sensor's just down back in there. There's a plug, you just unplug the top of that off, and then you put the socket on top, and it'll just pop out. But it's back between the block and the firewall. That's kind of hard kind of tricky to get at you don't have to remove any kind of vacuum hoses or fuel lines some guys out there will say you have to take the manifold off you don't have to do any of that you don't have to take anything off i got it in there and taken this out before without having to take any hoses out you can't take some of the hoses off they just pop out like that i don't know if you see it just pop out but it just goes right back on like that so it's not as hard as it's as some make it out to be definitely not worth paying six hundred dollars in labor so that's that's where it's at is back there here's some footage i got with a cell phone camera of it back threaded into the block right here
There's the old one right there. Let me see. Old one. There's the new sensor. Whatever you do when you're putting the sensor in, try not to drop it. Because you may never get it back. Just getting it started by hand. It's easier until you get to a point. Leave that's on. That plug just snaps back on. Okay, and that's it. Put it in there. That's it, it's done. Okay, let's see if this worked. Let's see if I. Still no oil pressure. Let me try resetting the computer. Oh, there we go. It just registered. Took a little bit, but it just registered. I've got oil pressure now. Cool. Still got the check engine code though. Let me see. I can reset it and it'll come back on. P2503. Yeah, it still has it. Most likely just because it read it right when it started up before it registered. Try clearing it out though. There we go. Cleared it out. Okay, and there it is, it's fixed. We've got oil pressure now. Bingo. Okay, so there you go, the uh, parts changed out. We have uh, oil pressure reading on the gauge. And uh, the only thing I forgot to, to uh, mention, uh, I had the video cut out when I was changing this out, but as to pull the uh, filter basket out, I just used a tap and I just threaded that in. You can use uh, you can use a bolt or you can use a tap. I think it's easier to use a to use a tap and pull it out. But then to put the new one in, 
You can just put it in and then just pop it in if you have a small enough pinky finger and you'll hear it click or you can just put it in with the tap again um, and that work. So, but that's how to, how to change it out. Um, if you like this video, share it and give it a like. Um, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Like again. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.